Okay, all right. I'll do that. Okay, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, what do you say like? What does the phrase healthy man, healthy world mean to you and how do you interpret this in your life? To me, healthy man, healthy world is a phrase that emphasizes the importance of individuals, including men health, for the well-being of the entire world of society. And with that, it also means that they get to make uh, the world a better place. That means automatically, if you're given off healthy energy, uh, everything around you will be healthy. So that's healthy man, healthy world. If you think about it, like young boys, uh, we keep telling them like, be a man, you know, but what does it mean really? But it's essential for promoting healthier attitude and behavior among men in a, and in a society as a whole. Breaking down those stereotypes is more about allowing men to be, in the, to be themselves first. And men are also people with emotions. I think the first one that we need to break down is men are not people with emotions and men don't cry. Educating everyone about health and their rights and that allows them to dream of a better world. One approach I could think of would be through a strong promotion of gender equality and challenging toxic masculinity, what I call toxic masculinity. I think for me it's really allowing men to express their emotions and, you know, to be in touch with their feelings, even though it's not something that I think they're used to do, but I think that's the key for me. Ha! Ah, uh, one piece of advice. <laughs> that's a big, big challenge. If you want to be better or want to give back to your community, the first thing is, who are you? Um, discover yourself first because once you're able to discover yourself automatically you're able to empower those around you and also I say for men around the world take time to reflect pause and discover yourself adopt a balanced nutritious diet engage in regular physical activities and exercise and get enough sleep Did you know that the overall mortality rate is 41% higher for men and women and it's higher for men for 8 out of 10 leading causes of death, including heart disease, cancer, stroke, and diabetes. Okay. Well, I, I didn't know it was that high. I think it's a common fact that men die before women. I think that I knew, but I didn't know it was that high, like 41%. So yeah, I think it's surprising. Yeah. Mental health in general is one big problem. And then particularly for men, it's it's even harder because of all the stigmas um, that comes with it. Did you know that men are less likely to seek health care than women? Well, I, have, I kind of have an idea about it because my lovely wife knows that every time we have a battle, or most of the time we have battles, it's about whether or not I seek health care and it has always been something like that. So I'm, I would assume that most men are like that. I wouldn't know if it's ego or pride, but I think that's a very wrong, way, very wrong approach to go about it. 